Hi everyone, at EFI Connect again, Inkish, I'm Robert. We're speaking with George Howe, he's our resident expert on the large format device that we're going to cover today. George, tell me a little bit about this device, uh, uh, the kind of substrates it runs, the market it's intended to serve. So this is our roll-to-roll -roll product. It's a, it's a production level, not so much entry, but it's going to get you in a lot of markets. It's strictly roll-to-roll, -roll. that's all we do with it. There's no rigid board, it's strictly roll-to-roll. -roll. For different markets, wallpapers, banner work, mesh work, um, even clear if you want to do backlit stuff. Right, so it's all flexible substrate. All flexible substrate, even some textiles if you want to do some different kind of heavy knits or sure. it gets into different levels, canvas. So there's a lot of different applications you can do with this one, one machine that's, you know, it doesn't take up a huge footprint. Yeah. It's, it's accessible, it's, I believe the price point is very good. Okay. And what its capabilities are and what it offers and even optionals that you can get with it is, it puts itself in a really good place. And what kind of training is required or skill sets required to be able to run it? You can take someone pretty much off the street. We <laughs> offer training and just a little bit of enthusiasm goes a long ways. If you're, usually our training is three days and you will be operating this within three days. And so when that works, the salesman has made a uh, sale with somebody and they've uh, acquired exactly. the machine. EFI steps in and does the training directly? We have, yep. We, it, yes. If you okay, buy from cool. us, we're going to give it to you. Um, we have certain vendors, I believe. That's not my place to kind no, of No, no, I understand. There. That's fine. Um, uh, I, yes, but you typically it's a three-day training with one of our trainers and we will go through it. You end up taking a test to make sure, we make sure that you're you're going to be ready for so it. So they're basically, they're Most certified. The they're, yeah, you get yeah. certified. Oh, okay, happen. we'll see, that's a, a valuable skill. We usually suggest skill. having two people. Oh, sure. At least one, two is always good. But, so you're really, what you're talking about is cross-training, so that there's a cross-training, yeah, so there's other someone, employees. Yeah. Everyone gets a vacation. Yep. <laughs> everyone gets a vacation. Yeah, or they get sick, let's hope not. Yep, so you um, kind of need that very, one little. Excellent. Yep. So can we take a look at the screen and let's look Absolutely. at some of the uh, GUI interface here? So this is um, a really simple interface for me. It does a lot of things. You can run multi-roll on this machine as well, so you're not really tied to just one roll. So when you look at this, it's going to show me that one lane. So tell me a little bit about the two-roll setup. The two-roll setup is really simple. Um, on this machine, with the standard bar, you'd want to have two rolls about the same size for feeding purposes, but we do offer what we call a split roll system, right. where you can run two independent rolls. You're going to run the same what we call print mode. The substrates can be two different substrates as long as the actual thickness of them is pretty much the same. You can be off a little bit, but we do offer that. So you can run two totally different campaigns at the same time. Right, and so it. company A you know, and company, company A B. Here, company B. Perfect. Two totally different campaigns, two different materials. So that really increase. Well, it doubles the efficiency of an output device. Yeah, you're not stuck to going just this one campaign on one material. Let's right. just say you're running two different styles of wallpaper for two different. Let's just say hotel. We're in the wind here. Right. You can absolutely do it because there's different styles of wallpaper we offer, different textures. So you're not bound to just one at a time. You can just kind of kill two birds with one stone. Well, that's exactly the goal, and that would be uh, fabulous with it. Now, um, in terms of drop, you know, um, flowing the work into this system, so how is the integration into an MIS system? And let's just concentrate on assuming that they have an EFI MIS. It's totally integratable, because on this printer, we have fiery embedded into the printer, so you don't have a separate device sitting off to the side. So right. if you tie the MIS into fiery, it's okay. going to generate into this printer. Excellent, that's great. So you're not leaving this printer. Someone's going to send something through MIS, it's going to come through, you're going to end up right at the printer. Beautiful. Now I just have a question here. It's a random question I don't know the answer to. So um, is this able to be uh, run remotely or monitored remotely? We do have EFI IQ, so you can monitor what jobs are run. This would be a managerial um, uh, like inquiry that they would want to look and you see. You would have this right here. Right. This is our EFI IQ. So it's going to show us even in queues for certain jobs. Sure. We can actually get it down to what jobs we ran. Right. So they can just, and there is an app for this that you can monitor remotely. So oh, so there's a, uh, so your mobile. production manager can be sitting at home and I got the app, I want to see what my print is doing. Oh, so they, it covers like a second and third shift for the management so to be able to monitor. Yep. Excellent. There's also a, in the printer itself, there's actually an 
uh, Excel file generated. So if you wanted oh. even more hard data, you can get it. It's going to tell you everything. Okay. Whether you did a, <laughs> what we call bi-directional, whether you did a, a jet test, it, it'll tell your manager exactly what that operator did. Uh, tell us about some of the pieces that you have here, because there's a variety of substrates you've laid out for display. So what you see a lot of right here is what we call vinyl banner. So right. Stuff that you're going to see at stadiums, outside of stores, it's very durable. So it's durable in the inks? Ink stick, the, the ink's very durable. Right. Very, very durable. Okay. It is our ink, we, it, EFI, we have our own inks. Sure. So no, that makes that sense. Um, and that way it works uh, better with the machine, less cleaning for the heads or um, alternative issues. Um, and then some of the other um, uh, substrates that are sampled here, you're running it on this a foil a paper. This is yep. And on this one we have on this printer is optional, you can have white. You can have white or clear. Right. So you have a choice. So on this, what we call silver flash, it's a wallpaper. You can do different applications with that. You can do repeatable patterns. You can just, it's not limitless, but you can just do so many things with it. Right. So I have a question for you. This uh, may come out of left field. What about um, uh, display things like um, clings and mesh? Yep. We do mesh, clings. On this particular printer, the mesh system is really easy. It's a push of a button away Beautiful. and a pad that goes down. So do the mesh. There is a pad that lays down inside on top of this. I'm just simply going to hit a button. Okay. Our substrate rides over it. That pad will actually absorb all the ink that's coming All the down. excess ink that goes through the exactly. mesh uh, openings. So when you're done, you're not having to clean that. And it's okay. just very simple. You're not taking pieces in and out. And again, another efficiency and point. And the machine knows how high to go, so you're not going to damage your carriage. Perfect. So it's um, really simple. Can we just go ahead and start it and just watch the head uh, oh, come across? And this is what we call a white under job. So you'll see white come under, so it actually make the image pop for this particular material. Sure, and that's uh, for that material or for a clear. It, would, a clear, it would be absolutely. really important. Yeah. yeah. If you want to do what we call a day-night backlit, you'll see without the light on us, one image. We light it up with a onboard light like this. Yeah. We can actually keep track of it as well. So we can monitor the quality as well. Right. In process without having to take something and go to a light table and take a look at it. Okay, this is great. This was a great introduction. Thanks for the view on it. No I appreciate problem. your nice time, you. George.